basic angle properties property 1 This is called 90 angle known as a right angle. Property number 2. If there are two angles on a straight line in such a way, one is acute other is obtuse the sum of these angle acute plus obtuse will be 180 degree property number 3 If two lines are parallel, and there is a line which is cutting these two, the angles formed at this point and at this point which is B, these two angles will be supplementary, so sum of these two will be 180 degree property number 4 if there are two lines then these lines are parallel and there is one line cutting these two angle formed at this point and at this points are equal known as corresponding angle property number 5 when there are two lines in such a way they are parallel to each other the other line which is cutting the both lines if one is angle here the other is here it is B again both angles are equal being alternate angle property number 6 If there are two lines and cutting like this each other, the angle formed at here A here will be B. A will be equal to B. These angles are known as vertically opposite angle. If there is X, there is Y, X will be Y is equal to Y having the same property vertically opposite 
angles vertical opposite angles are always equal in magnitude property 7 if there are two lines like this in this case three angle will be fo formed these two lines are parallel here will be A here will be B here will be C so sum of these angles A plus B plus C is equal to 360 degree property number 8 if there are 4 angles like this these two lines are parallel here is one angle A here is B here is C and here is T so sum of these four angles will be equal to 540 degree now see some examples of these properties Question number one. These two lines are parallel. Here is four X, here is five X. Now you have to find the value of X. In this case, we will just examine. We have to make an extra angle with the help of this 4x. This is a relation of vertically opposite angle here. If this is 4x, this will also be 4x. Now, these two lines are parallel, and 4x and 5x are interior angle. So, sum of interior angle is equal to 180 degree then addition 9x is equal to 180 degree and x is equal to 20 question second lines are parallel and the line cutting with these two angle at this point is 5x minus 14 and here it is 3x plus 10 now using the same technique angle at this will be same like that it is 5x minus 14 I am using the property vertical opposite angles now this <coughs> and this these two angles are supplementary being interior angle so sum of these two interior angle is 180 degree then by addition 8x minus 4 is equal to 180 degree 8x is equal to 184 so x is equal to 23 again question third if 
if there are two lines these two lines are parallel angle at this point is 7x minus 12 angle at this point 4x minus 17 now using the property of sum of interior angle is equal to 180 these two are angles are interior so 7x minus 12 plus 4x minus 17 is equal to 180 degree so 11x minus 29 is equal to 180 degree and 11x is equal to 180 plus 29 and 11x is equal to 209x is equal to 19. Question number 4. Again, two lines are parallel. Here, angle is 2y. At this step, the angle is 5x minus 20 and here the angle is 3x plus 40 degree now I am using the another property angle at this step and this point are corresponding angle the corresponding angles are equal in magnitude so 5x minus 20 is equal to 3x plus 40 now shifting 3x towards this side, it will be 5x minus 3x is equal to now 40 and now I am going to shift this 20 towards other side, it will be plus 20. Now 2x is equal to 60, x is equal to 30. In order to find the y, the relation between these two angles is these two angles are vertically opposite angles so 2y is equal to 5x minus 20 now i have the value of this x which is 30 2y is equal to 5 into 30 minus 20 2y is equal to 150 minus 20 and 2y is equal to 130 y is equal to 130 divided by 2 it will be 65 now <coughs> question 5 when these two lines are parallel if this angle is 5x minus 15 and angle at this point is 75 minus x Again, using the relation of vertically opposite angle, the, these two angles will be same. So here will be 75 minus x. Now 75 minus x is equal to 5x minus 15. Now 75 and uh, uh, by shifting this 15 towards other side, it will be plus 15 and here it will be 5x and when I sh will shift this x toward other side it will be positive x by adding these 
it will be 90 is equal to 6x so x will be 15